Warm up started, we're gonna do sports day Wednesday. Morning crew! Yeah. Woo! What's Look up? Look at this, sports Wednesday. Good day, mate. Good morning teachers, grommies, parents. Welcome all schools. Everyone, who's fired up for sports day Wednesday? Oh, yeah. yeah, buddy, it's gonna be a good day. We got lots Post of me, me. lots of action today, guys. We're gonna go through about 10 to 15 different sports. What we're really gonna focus on today is visualizing the actual sport that we're practicing, okay? So using our minds, like yesterday we used our imagination to go elsewhere, this time we're gonna use our visualization to focus on what we're doing. So every movement, it feels like we're really doing it, okay? Because a lot of you, I'm sure, play netball, soccer, basketball, tennis, all those sort of things. So just remember that feeling, and we're gonna really visualize being involved in that sport. How's that sound? Pump. Sounds wicked. Let's go, Cam. We'll start that timer and get the warm up started, mate. Any questions, guys, on behind the camera? Be sure to say good day. Cam's there, guys, for all your questions. If you have any suggestions that you'd like to do for any sports, feel free to put it in the comments and we'll uh, do our best to uh, add it to the workout. Okay, let's do a quick little jog on the spot, guys. Get the blood. Just to keep the timer there, Cam. Jogging on the spot, guys. Get the whole body moving. We can just do silly arms. Woo! Loosen up our legs. We'll do the Conor McGregor wiggle. Woo! If ever, any of you have seen Conor McGregor in the UFC, does the funny walk, loosen up. Woo! Walk around the classroom, walk around the living room. Loosen up those arms. Woo! Swing them around in big circles. Woo! We're gonna get real loose today, guys. We've got a big session. Oh, yes. G'day, yeah. Steve-o. He says, g'day to all these students that are enjoying the sessions from home. Well done, Steve. Thanks for sharing this, mate, with the with the kids. Oh, Doing a great effort there. Twist and down. Twist, down. Twist, down. Okay, let's climb the ladder. Let's warm up the whole body. Climb the ladder. Reach for the sky, guys. Get those knees. You don't have to go too hard for the warm-up. We just want to go about 50 to 60% just to get the blood pumping, the muscles working, and our minds awake, ready to do some action, okay? Woo! Good stuff. Little stretch, guys. If you need a friend, grab your friend in the classroom or your brother and sister in the lounge room. Balance on each other. Pull your foot back behind your bottom. Stay nice and balanced. Stretch out those quads. Good That's morning, Mrs. Thornton's year threes. Woo. We love having you guys here. Legends. You guys have got an awesome teacher, Mrs. Thornton. What a legend she is. Dedicated to keeping the kids fit and healthy. We love it. Spread the legs apart. Down to one side, big lunge. Big lunge. Hands out for balance. Excellent work. Stretch it out. That's the way, grommies. Okay, we'll just bounce on our toes. That's it, shrug your shoulders at the same time. Try and do two things at once. Get our minds thinking, our bodies moving. Woo! That's it. Okay, once again, grab your partner or, or something to balance on and just swing your leg nice and high. Try and stay nice and balanced on your leg. And then swing that other leg right through, right back. See from the side on view. Okay, swap legs. Grab your friend. It's a beautiful day today, guys. The birds are out, they're singing. Sun's shining. Waves are pumping. Whoa. And I'm fired up. My balance is a little bit off. I don't know what that's about. Alright, okay, let's see if we can put our hands on our hips and swing our leg in front of us. If you need to put your hands out for balance, that's okay. Or on your hips. And just try and get this swing a little bit bigger. Good work, guys. Awesome stuff. Getting our whole body warmed up for an awesome day of huge sports variation. Okay? And like I said, we're going to be visualizing every sport that we do and every action. We're going to pretend we're there, out on the field, on the court, in the stadium, 
really visualizing every movement we do, okay? Some of the benefits we get from playing sport, some of you might play sport, some of you might not, that's okay, but it's a really great way to stay fit and active, okay? Because you're out training, you're playing on weekends, you're outside in the sunshine, it's really great for us in that respect. But it's also an awesome way to meet friends, okay? Meet new people, helps you build your confidence because you start learning new skills, you gain some coordination, okay? And you build that confidence inside us that we have the ability to do, whether it's a new sport or dancing, but, you know, it doesn't matter what it is, but we're learning a new skill. It might even be juggling, but it's really cool to try all sorts of different sports because we never know what we're gonna be good at, okay? Roll our ankles, we're almost there, guys. On the ground, twist the ankles. Okay, we'll just do some nice, slow, down and across, up. Back down, round in front, reach to the sky. When I was growing up, I think I played every sport that the school had to offer for me. Whether it was t-ball, soccer, rugby, AFL, golf, cricket. I just played it all because it's really fun and awesome to meet some people. Build up my confidence and get me feeling good about being outside and staying fit and active. All right, good stuff, Grummies. Grab a drink and we'll get into it, okay? You won't need any props today. We're just going to be using all our bodies to do the visual, uh, to do all the movements. Make sure you got your water. We'll have a couple of breaks. What we're going to do today, we're going to spend a minute practicing the movement, and then we're going to go a minute of actually doing the work, uh, the workout. Okay. So to really visualize it, we're going to spend a bit of time to practice it, whether it's kicking, surfing, basketball, whatever it may be. We'll spend that minute, and then we'll do a minute of actual hard out exercise. All right, I'll get Cam to start the... Okay, the first one we're going to do, guys, is going to be soccer. Okay, and with soccer, we're going to pretend the ball's down in front of us, we put our foot down and we swing our leg through, okay? So two steps, one, two, kick, okay? Stay nice and balanced on this leg and swing our leg through. So let's press play there, Cam. We'll get going, we'll practice a few nice and slowly, all right? So visualize the ball in front of you, two steps forward, swing that leg, okay? Move back, visualize the ball, boom! Just like we're kicking a goal, okay? Soccer World Cup. We step up to the plate, boom, top left hand corner. Okay, try your other foot now. Step up, balance and kick. That's the way, step forward, balance and kick. Okay, so if the ball was actually there, we're visualizing where we're gonna kick. Okay, so there it is, boom. All right, just like in real life. Kick, swap legs again. Boom, that's the way. Okay, swap legs. And notice how my arm's out for balance, okay? If I have my arm down beside me, it's harder for me to balance. So I keep my arms out, nice and stable. All right, good stuff, Grommies. Okay, now we're gonna do really fast. We've visualized how to do it, we've got a feel for it. Now we're gonna put it into action, okay? So just like in a soccer game, the, space, the pace quickens, we have to be on the ball, okay? So ready? Let's go, let's go on, go. Whoa, big kicks, nice and fast. That's it, we're trying to kick it downfield. We're a goalie, we're a center, we're a forward. Okay, swap legs, three on each leg. Boom, that's the way. Warm it up. That's it, Grommies, good start. Pretend you're in a big stadium filled with people. Everyone's cheering you on. All your teammates are Pass it here, pass it to me, pass it to me. Boom, big kicks. Swap legs again, bang. Good start. That's the way, Grommies, kick. Big kick, woo. Okay, we're lining up a shot, penalty shot. We've got a kick for the corner, and kick. That's the way, awesome work. Okay, swap legs, pass it to our teammates, boom. Boom, nice and balanced, Grommies. Stay strong on that leg, that's it. Good work. Well done, Grommies, that's soccer. Visualizing our kicks, really good stuff. Okay, next up. We're gonna go surfing, okay? So surfing, you can do two options with this one. 
Okay, we're all gonna start on our bellies lying down because that's where you, you see the wave coming, you gotta paddle for it. Okay, if you have surfed before, you know you can pop straight to your feet like this. If you're sort of a beginner, okay, try popping up one foot, other foot, and then stand, okay? So just nice and steady, let's practice a couple of times. Everyone together, let's paddle. One, two, three, four, pop. Okay, stay low, okay? When we stay low with our legs strong, it gives us that balance for, to surf the wave. Okay, and here we go again. Let's get, do the beginner pop, okay? So one, two, three, four. One foot, second foot, and then surf, okay? Good work. Let's try it a couple more times, and then we'll do it as a workout, okay? Surf for pops. Really good for our upper body, our core, and our legs. So pretty much a whole body workout. Okay, let's paddle again. One, two, three. Nice and slow, pop. Set, we come up to the wave, boom, surf it. Boom, get the feeling of that wave riding. Okay, beginner pop again. One, two, three, back leg first. And then second foot, stay nice and balanced, okay? Good work, Gromis. Okay, we'll turn it into a workout. So we'll speed it up. We'll try and do as many surf pops as we can in the next 45 seconds, okay? You ready, guys? Do whatever variation, whether it's beginner or the advanced. So let's go, okay, ready? Let's go, one, two, three, four, pop. That's it, come on, down. One, two, three, four, pop. That's it, grommies, come on. One, two, three, four, pop. Get low, get barrel, woo, pull in. That's it, one, two, three, four, pop. That's it, grommies, come on. Begin a pop for me. One, two, stay low. Great workout for the legs and our core. Ready, pop. Nice, woo. Everybody surfing now. Everybody surfing with me. Woo, two, three, four. Stay, yes, good stuff. Go hard, Grommies. Pop, excellent work. Begin to pop. Surf the wave, do a turn. Boom. Excellent stuff, Grommies. Woo. That's a tough one. You'll feel your whole body working out there. Grab a drink if you need. If anyone's got any favorite sports they want to try, type it in. I can add it into the workout, okay? Next up we've got tennis, okay? If any of you ever played tennis, we've got a forehand, which is with your right hand to your right, and then a backhand. So really focus, guys, on seeing the ball come to you and hitting the ball all the way through. Backhand, forehand. Step to the ball, practice that with me, okay? Backhand, boom, backhand. Step back, get ready for the ball, here we go. Forehand, come across the court, backhand again, okay? So see how I set up in the middle every time? Now I get ready, boom, forehand. Set up, backhand. Stay nice and balanced, stay low again. Most sports, it's good to stay low for good balance, okay guys? Okay, so let's do it. Follow me on the screen as I go backhand and forehand. You guys see if you can keep up, okay? The ball's gonna be coming really fast. We're playing against Roger Federer. <laughs> so he's running us all over the court. And we gotta try and keep up, all right? He's gonna serve now, so let's get ready. Everyone get down in their tennis positions. Here comes Federer for the serve. We're gonna start off forehand, okay, ready? And go, forehand and backhand. Forehand, boom. Forehand, backhand, come on. Forehand, okay, forehand again. That's it, backhand. That's it, forehand. That's the way Grommies move around with your feet. Backhand, back to center. Forehand, good stuff. And backhand, come forward a little bit on our toes back. Forehand, that's it. Excellent, visualize that tennis ball coming to you and then hitting it down the court, that's it. Follow me, backhand again. Bang, that's it. Great stuff, forehand, awesome, move forward. Big volley, bang! Takes Federer down in the championships. Woo! Awesome stuff, Grommies. We got a request. You're gonna love this one, mate. Request, what do we got, Cam? 
You're a ballerina. A ballerina, okay. Ballet. My experience in ballet is quite vast, believe it or not. I'm a seasoned veteran when it comes to ballet. I'm very good with my prancies and my spins. Okay, so let's practice doing some ba ballet moves. Okay, so let's stand up on our toes and put our knee, our foot to our knee. Okay, balance. Okay, try the other side. I think they put their hands on the head like this and balance. Stand on your toes. Good work. Swap legs. Balance on your toes. Good stuff. Okay, let's try a little spin on one foot. <laughs> now your other foot. In most cases, you're always going to be more balanced on one foot than the other. Okay, so try again. Stand up. Ballerina style. And I think they go twinkle toes. Twinkle toes. Ooh, and ballet. Spin. Good work, Grommies. This is very new to me, but it's all fun and games. I'm learning something new. Balance again. Whoop. Maybe up try the... up on both feet, see how long you can last. Okay, ready? So you get little, to 10 little, seconds. Little challenge. Up on both toes. Let's go. Balance. 10 seconds. Work those calves and legs. Oh, yes. Feel the burn. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I would make a terrible ballerina. Whoo. How'd you go, Grubbies? there? Good stuff. Okay, come forward and spin. Nice and balanced on one foot. I think Renee's using some ballerina terminology here. She says, can you try a, a grand jeté? Oh, wow. Like, huh? It's like a huge split jump. Okay, Woo! I'm going to do my best for a huge split jump. If everyone else just wants to try a big frog jump, here I go. On my toes. <laughs> Ta-da! Excellent. Okay, one more, couple more spins. Stay balanced. Here we go. Ballerina style. Woo! And that's twinkle toes coming up to our curtsy. Let's grab our little pretty skirts. If you're a guy, you're in your tights. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A few comments coming through. I think they're liking Excellent. the ballet, mate. Yeah, perfect. Might become a, feels a regular. Really, feels really natural. <laughs> okay, next we got some boxing, okay? And after that, mate, we've got a request for cricket. Cricket? Awesome stuff. I love cricket. Played cricket all my life when I was growing up. Okay, so boxing. Stay on our toes so we can transfer our weight forward and back, okay? So let's practice going forward, back. One, two. Forward, back. One, two. Forward, back. One, two. Okay, so notice how I stay on my toes. Stay nice and balanced. And throw some punches. So practice that. That's it. Uh, awesome work, Grommies. And you can throw, move around, okay? Dance around the classroom or your lounge room. Throw punches, because there's always an opponent. And you've got to keep moving, otherwise if you stay still, you might get clipped. Stay on your toes, clip, clip. That's it, move around. Boom, boom. Good stuff. This is really, really good workout for your cardio fitness. So if you want to work on your endurance and your muscle stamina, Boxing is an amazing sport. Really fun to do with a friend. Good work, Romies. Ready? Punch, punch. Back on our toes. Punch, 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 punch. Four. Back it. That's it. One, two, three, four. Good work, Romies. Okay, we're going to duck. 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 One, two. Duck. Duck. One, two. Good stuff, Romies. Duck. One, two. That's all right. Let's see if we can do four punches. Ready? One, two, three, four. Awesome work. Stay on our toes. We don't want to get hit. I'm going to keep dancing around. Okay, here we go. Boom, boom. Duck, duck. One, two. Duck, duck. One, two. And four punches. Ready? One, two, three, four. That's it. Duck and weave. Get back a little bit. Move around. One, two, three, four. That's it. One, two, three, four. Duck, weave, duck, weave. One, two, three, four. Okay, we'll try some little uppercuts. Finish off. On our toes, let's go, real fast. Come on, 20 seconds, boom. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, let's go hard, Grommies. Come on, woo, dig deep, dig deep. Yes, come on. Awesome work, Grommies, come on. Well done, Muhammad Ali. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. All time greatest, well done. Okay, so we got cricket as a request. 
A few more requests coming through. Awesome work. We'll go, we'll go cricket first, and we'll have a look at the next one. So with cricket, the two main things we do is we bat, so we hit the ball, and also we bowl, okay? So when we bowl, we've got the ball in one hand, and we step forward, okay, and we swing our arm down the pitch, okay? So we'll just try, take a couple of steps, one, two, swing the ball down, okay? Let's do 10 bowls, and then we'll do 10 hits, okay? So pretend you've got the ball in your hand, one, two, three, step forward, and bowl. Notice my hand goes up to the balance, comes through, and I bowl the ball, all right? Let's go a bit faster. One, that's it, do your best, Grommies. It's all about learning and having a go. So pretend you got the ball down the pitch. Whoa, yes, nice work. That's it, good stuff, Grommies. Come on, big bowl down the pitch, perfect. One, a couple more, two more. So we bowl, good work, Grommies. One more, here we go. Boom, bowl down, how's that? All right, and then in cricket, we bat, okay? So, pretend we've got the bat in our hand. Someone's gonna bowl us the ball, and we're gonna try, hit it over our shoulder, boom! All the way to the boundary before, okay? So get ready, one, two, bang! One, two, bang! We can hit like that, or we can hit forward. Hit forward, boom! Okay, tap, tap, and hit. Good work, Grommies. A few cricketers out there, a couple of Don Bradmans. A couple of Steve Smiths, probably pretty familiar with the old pull shot. Okay, keep hitting, two more. Boom, six runs. One more, Gorries, big hit. Winning, winning match for Australia. Boom, hits it out of the park. Woo, he's done it. Australia takes the win. All right, what's the next request, Cam? Uh, break dancing, mate. So maybe lots of fast break movements, dancing. dancing, break dancing. All this right, will be fun. I'll set my mat up because I know one move I'm going to do. Okay, so with break dancing, guys, I'm not hugely familiar, but I'm pretty sure it's just an expression of how you feel in a dancing format, okay? So we just wanna make really fun dance moves. Cross your legs over, cross your legs over, get down low. Whatever break dancing feels good for you, spin around, okay? It's just a big expression of how you feel on the dance floor, okay? I know Jules is out there, he loves his break dancing. So do your best, Jules. I'd love to see a video, mate, so we can show the other Groms how it's done. All right, Groms, let's go 30 seconds. Break dancing. That's it. Oh, yeah, break it up. Woo! Break dancing. Oh, yeah, come on, Groms. I'm going to bust out the worm. Woo! Keep it on. 10 more seconds. That's it, Grommies. Break dance, twist the legs. Get the arms going, get down low. Handstand, a few little kicks. Woo! Good stuff. Someone wants a backflip. Backflip? I don't know if I can do that. Woo! There you go, buddy. That's the best backflip I can do at the moment. I've been practicing, though. And I'm going to be able to do one on the ground soon enough. I just have to keep practicing. That's it. All right. Great work, Romy. Bit of break dancing. Get the blood pumping. Make us feel good, okay? Grab a quick drink. You got your water bottle handy? Woo, hot work today. Up next, maybe footy. A few requests for Perfect. rugby league, those football stars. Excellent. So NRL, just like last time, okay, what we do, the ball's on the ground here. Our teammate's gonna run through. We're gonna pass in the footy, okay? So down, pass, down, pass. We'll do 10 passes, and then we'll do 10 runs, okay? So here we go, Grummies, get down. Pick the ball up, pass it out. Pick the ball up, pass it out, that's it. Visualize, picture of being on the field, picture the ball being in your hands, and you're throwing it to your teammate, come on. Let's go, four more, one, two, that's it. I know Levi's out there, he's a mad keen footy player. Loves his NRL, two more, one, two, okay. And another great thing in rugby league, when you get the ball, 
you get to run really fast, okay? So we get our forward, and we get to sidestep, back and forward. Okay, so ready, forward, back, sidestep. That's the way, come back. And ready, forward again, forward, back. That's it. Get back in the defense, come up. Boom, make a tackle, get back. Forward. That's it, Grommy, sidesteps. Good work. Here we go again. Sidestep, run fast. Excellent. Footy at its best. Okay, good work. Sidestep. Okay, this time run real fast to finish off. Short ball, short ball, boom. Good work. Excellent stuff, Grommy. Hope that fulfilled your footy needs. That was amazing. Okay. Next up we got ice skating, okay? Something we're probably not really familiar with because we live in such a hot climate, but really great sport for our balance. Good for speed and good for a whole body workout, okay? So let's just have a practice of pushing off one foot to the other and balancing side to side. Notice how my leg comes across behind, extra balance, okay? Extra balance, speed skaters get really low to the ground and they push really hard with their legs to get maximum speed, okay? So let's try that. Just focus, do your best. Okay, starting on your left leg as one big team, let's do it. Ready, push, across. Come on, we'll build up speed and we'll bring it home hard, okay? Just like the Olympics, Stephen Bradbury, he was coming, coming in last and everyone fell. And he came through at the end and won gold. He was there, made Olympic history. If you're bored today, look it up. Pretty amazing sporting moment. Okay, we've got 20 seconds left. Let's go hard, grooms. Come on, push, push. Faster. Here comes Bradbury from behind. Yes, he can't believe his luck. Everyone's falling. We're coming into the straight. Come on. No one's in front of him. Come Bradbury. on. Put this head Woo! up, we can't believe it. Woo, gold medal for Australia. Mate, First. we got lots of uh, requests come through. What about a bit of a challenge? I'm gonna throw a few out and you just randomly freestyle it. Okay. You and the Groms, every 10 or 15 seconds, I'll throw one out there. Okay. Go hard for two minutes. Okay, hard for two minutes. Here it is, netball. Wait a sec. As soon as the two minute timer starts. Woo, grab a quick drink, guys. We're gonna expression session it. Whatever sport gets called out, we've got to do our best to do the movement for it. Okay, ready? Starting with netball. Okay, Two. shot, move around, catch, shot, move around, catch, shot. That's it, move around, catch, shot. What do we got next, Cam? Softball. Softball, okay, so underarm throw, hold the ball, swing around and throw. Okay, swing around, throw. Let's go, Grommies. Hard pitches, a little bit like cricket, but the opposite, under the arm. That's it. Keep going, we got five more seconds. What's next, Cam? Skipping. Skipping, as in skipping with a rope. Okay, let's pretend we got a rope. Come on, double unders. That's it. Whoa, the sweat's dripping now. I don't know about skipping, but I'm dripping. Woo. <laughs> Come on. Dig deep, deep, Grommies, what's next, Cam? We got three seconds. Gymnastics. Gymnastics, all right. Okay, we're gonna just do a little bit of a gymnastics routine, okay? So, classrooms might be a bit tight for a handstand or a cartwheel, so, um, what can we do for gymnastics? Oh, it's acro, Phoebe does acro style moves, so, acro. sort of down your hands and flip your okay, body maybe, over. Maybe and... we'll just use our strength. We'll go crawl around with our hands and feet. Okay, and then we'll try to push ourselves up. Whoop. That's it. Just into a little kick. That one might be a little bit tricky in the classroom. Gymnastics, we'll do one cartwheel. Woo! All right, what about skateboarding? Skateboarding, awesome stuff. Okay, so we've got that foot on the board, whichever one you push with. Big kicks. Whoa. Stay balanced, hop on your skateboard. That's it, we're going around the bend. Do some turns. Okay, push again. Down, push. That's it, keep turning. Here comes a big cross there. Woo, Tony Hawk. Boom. Maybe finish it with some karate. Okay, finish it off with karate. And so, karate chop. One, two, three, four. Okay. 
So we go karate chop, one, two, three, and spin, and four with the back kick, okay? So practice that one more time. One, two, kick, spin, kick around the back, okay? Get ready, grommies. Let's do it. Here we go. Chop, chop, kick, spin. That's it, get back in position. Chop, chop, kick, spin. Good work, karate. Get set, crouching tiger. Kick. You get more power if you make the noises. Everyone in the classroom, let's hear it. Oh, I can hear it from here. Oh yeah, feel the energy, kid. Well done, Grommy. Yeah. That's karate awesome. master, come to me. All right, chop chop. Woo, woo. Oh, maybe woo. maybe discus, mate. Just finish off, Harry. Some discus. Well, me and Harry wants discus. Okay, if any of you have ever been in a sports carnival, okay, we got to throw the disc. It's like a dinner plate. We spin around and we throw it. Okay, just like Captain America throwing his shield. All right, so imagine that. Visualize you got a dinner plate in your hand. And you got to throw it as far as you can, okay? So get ready, one spin, and throw. That's it, grommies. Balancing, spin, and throw. A lot of the older kids at school will know this one. Ready, spin, and throw. Good work, swap hands if you like. That's it, spin the other way. Good work, spinning. Throw the discus. They do that in the Olympics. Some of them can throw up nearly 100 meters. It's unbelievable. All right, come on, Grommies, let's go. We're almost there. Good stuff. Discus, any more requests, Cam? I think that. I think I've got most of them. If I missed anything, guys, awesome. send it through. Okay, we'll just finish off. Last lots of time. lots of happy faces and thumbs up and awesome. loving loving the freestyle stuff. That's mate. what we love to see. Good stuff. And that's 20 minutes guys of hard, fast paced workout. How do you feel? Let us know how you guys are feeling. Are you energized? Are you tired? Are you sweaty? Do you feel good? Do you feel like just high-fiving everyone around you? Because that's how I feel. I get super pumped. It's so good to be in a classroom environment too where there's more people so you feed off each other's energy. That's awesome. I'll tell you how I feel. I feel like a contained tiger sitting <laughs> back here watching all this exercise going on. I just want to get out there and do it. <laughs> Grab a drink, guys. Not long, Cam. You'll be back out here, mate. We've got some thumbs up, shuckers. Awesome stuff. Grab a drink, guys. And we've got to do a warm down. Warm down is really, really important, okay? We've just used our whole body, all our muscles from head to toe, and they're all stretched and tight. So we just do a little warm down, nice and slow paced, to just stretch them out back to a nice, even layer level, okay? Grab a drink. While Chris is warming down, guys, I'll get my quick little juiced up living tip for the day. You, I love this part of the show, Cam. So much valuable information. We've been doing all this exercise. So grommies, I'll bring it in nice and close. There it is. Make sure you drink lots of water throughout the day. Okay, did you know most of our bodies is made up of water? We might not realize that, but even when you look at your skin, your muscles, your bones, lots of water, <laughs> just like that. So very important that we drink lots of water, guys. It's gonna make you feel great. It's gonna energize you, it's gonna give you clarity in the mind, help you feel calm, feel great. So guys, drink up that water. It's very important for your health and well-being, and you're gonna feel amazing. Woo, drink that water. Thanks, Cam. Especially after a big session or any sporting event that you've done, really important to drink lots of water, guys, because your body needs it more than ever, okay? Because we sweat it all out. It comes out of our skin. So we need to replace that with lots and lots of water. How many glasses do they, do they say to drink a day, Cam? I think at least eight. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> eight glasses, guys. If you can try and think about drinking eight cups every day, I reckon you'll feel absolutely amazing. Best time of the day to drink water, or the time to really focus on getting that water in is first thing when you wake up in the morning. So you've been sleeping all night, your body's a little bit dehydrated. So the first thing I do every morning, two big glasses of water. Perfect pro tip, juiced up Grom's tip of the day. Good stuff, Cam. Love it. Stretch out our quads again, so just nice big lunge forward, Grommies. Stay balanced, please. Use your team out if you need. 
for extra balance. Good work. Swap your legs over. Awesome work. Lean forward. Good start. Awesome work, Grommies. Okay. Standing up, we'll stretch our quads again so they can't balance on me. Other leg, yep. Ooh, let's see if we can balance. Hold that balance. It makes it easier if you've got a friend or a post or whatever it is just to help you balance. You can get a nice big stretch, pull it hard. See so if you can get that knee right down, right underneath you. That's it. Okay, we'll swap legs. Like a dance. <laughs> Good start. Pull that leg back. Well done. We'll just bend over, hang our arms down, and we'll just let them swing in the air like a jellyfish. Loosen them right up. You can do some little shoulder rolls too. Okay, roll your shoulders. That was a really good session, guys. I hope you enjoyed that style and we learned a little bit. And remember that visualization, okay? Lots and lots and lots of sports stars out there really use visualization to their advantage, okay? Because if you can think of something happening before it happens and you've already visualized it, you're going to be one step ahead of the game, okay? Reach down, touch your toes, stretch down, put your head to the ground. And then work, and we'll just go hands to the ground, push yourself out, all the way up to a plank, and then all the way back up again. That's it, and then reach to the sky. We'll do one more of those. Back down, hand on the ground. That's it, good work. Back up. Ooh, awesome, we'll just finish good. off. Pull our knees up, like we're hiking again. Just pull it up that little extra bit. Well, I'm feeling pumped for the day now, Cam. I'm energized, I'm ready to hook in. That was a great yeah. session. Let's go. Everyone out there, we're going to do our Juiced Up Groms chant, which is we are, we are Juiced Up Groms, okay? So as loud as you can, guys. As loud as you can. If you've got a group there, put your hands together. One, two, three. We, we are, we are, are Juiced Up Groms. Woo, high five. Yeah. Woo. All right, thanks, Grommy. See you tomorrow. Superhero training, okay? So wear your superhero outfits. It's going to be an epic session. See you all at 9 a.m. Well done, Grommies.